It's like so fucking horrible to me and he just treated me like a stupid black bitch. And it was like so painful for me and everybody was like, well, you're the fucking dumbass. Like I had sex with him and he basically just like used me for sex. He was like white guy in a frat. And so basically I ended up seeing him at Target when and he wouldn't look me in the eyes. He wouldn't say anything. It was like he was ashamed of me. And and so I stood up for myself and said what I needed to say to him. And he ran away from me when I was speaking to him. Who cares about the Kardashians? They have bad tasted men. They like ugly ass ghetto black guys. Ew. Come again, say what? They date black guys out of all people. They couldn't get a hot, sexy, rich white guy. Ew. Bruh. I don't care about your preference, but you ain't about to down my people in the process. You better chill out before I call Star Trek and tell one of them Wookiees you run around here with their hair on. I know. I date racist guys. I date country redneck racist guys. They're racist like me. This what? Black power! Nigger! That's why white guys really love me, because I've never, ever had a black thingling in me. I've never, ever dated or touched or kissed a black guy ever in my life. Thank you. They like that I've only had white dicks in me. They love that, and I love it too. Well, as long as you love it, that's all that matters. But you know what I love? I love for you to take that wig off for me real quick. Hey, guys. What's up? It's me, Tracer. Ooh, girl, you turn around looking like... Voila! Kiss my ass, you stupid, ugly, fucking bitch. <laughs> Ew, fucking yuck. Let me get a uh, extra large gum with a little bit of teeth head ass. Stop coming for black men specifically.